Hey y'all, it's Tia Cherie here. Welcome back to my channel. It is so good to see you guys again on this week's video. So this is going to be part two in my series on basically how to level up your life in six months or less. And then this week we are talking all about mindset. So do you have it in your mind that 2023 is about to be your year? If not, you better because if you are not putting yourself in the correct mindset now 2023 is definitely not going to be your year so if you are tired of how your life was in 2022 and you're looking to level up next year be in a better place get a bigger bag just be in a better space altogether then mindset is what we need to work on so if you're interested in learning how to level up your mindset for 2023 make sure that you keep watching and stay tuned all right, so 2023 is knocking on the door, okay? Homegirl is right around the corner and she is coming with a vengeance. So being that we are wrapping up the year, it's December, things are starting to wind down, the holidays are right around the corner, all of us are probably like drained, probably over it but then also some of us are energized and looking forward to the new year whichever side of the spectrum you fall on this video is still going to be helpful because we are talking all about mindset your mindset is so important to your success the healthiness of your life the satisfaction you feel the happiness you feel all of those things are related back to your mindset i personally definitely had a shift in these last six months of this year in regards to my mindset and basically how i am the cause for both positive and negative things that have been happening in my life it's very hard to manifest a positive life with a negative mindset you're fighting against each other and it's it's not going to happen so if you are looking to level up in any way you have to change the way that you think about things and that is going to bring us to tip number one on mindset and that is going to be having a positive outlook on your life so whatever it is that you are looking to accomplish whether it's a financial goal emotional spiritual whatever it does not matter if you are already going into it with a negative mindset there's no way to get a positive outcome from it it's just not happening like it's not going to happen because if you already have it in your mind that something is going to fail then guess what's going to happen it's gonna fail you're not gonna meet the goal that you wanted to meet you're not gonna have the discipline and the and the consistency to accomplish the goal you're not gonna bring the right people around you to help you get that goal accomplished you're just not gonna be in a space to get that goal completed because you've already psyched yourself out that this wasn't gonna work before you even got started when I have went into things already thinking the worst that tends to be what happens you don't truly believe in what it is that you're trying to do it's not gonna happen right so for instance if you have a business if you open your business with the assumption that oh this is gonna fail I'm not it's gonna take me forever to get my clients it's gonna take me you know forever to get my books booked out it's gonna take me forever to open up my space blah 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 that's gonna come through right so so people are attracted to the person right it doesn't necessarily have to be the business or the service that you're providing it's you that people may like you may do your service great but there's also other people that probably do your same service great as well but people come to you because it's something about you so learn to be positive in that learn to stand in that learn to know that you have more power and influence and attraction than what it is that you know or understand but having a positive mindset is so helpful to you to keep yourself going keep yourself on track and keep yourself in a good mindset which is going to allow good things to be attracted to you if you put good out you get good back right right number two for mindset is gratitude having gratitude is so extremely important and unfortunately many of us especially myself included we have a way of taking things for granted right 
there's so many ways um, that we need to learn to practice more gratitude and being grateful for what we have while still aspiring to get more because keep in mind we still trying to get more but being grateful for what we have in that moment is essential to being able to get more so one of the tips that i have as far as practicing gratitude is i have a gratitude journal so i have gotten this uh journal off of youtube so here you see it here this is the five minute journal and basically every morning I write in it. So every morning and night I basically write in my gratitude journal. In the morning when I first wake up, it asks you what am I grateful I am grateful for and then it gives you three spaces for you to write what you're grateful for. Being grateful can be for literally the smallest thing. I am grateful for the heat that you guys may hear coming through my vents right now. I am grateful for this chair that I'm sitting in. I am grateful for these flowers that I bought for myself from Trader Joe's. I am grateful for this roof over my head and that I'm not outside in cold New York. I am grateful for everything that I have. Even when I feel like it is owed to me, nothing is owed to you. You have it and you should be grateful for it. So one of my ways of practicing gratitude is writing in this journal every day, morning and night. Also, taking a real look at what it is that you have and how far you've come. There's so many things that I dreamed of having a few years ago that I now have and just putting that into perspective right so a lot of times when we're on our journey we only see what's going on immediately right like we see the struggle we see you know being stressed out about certain things or how long it took us to get something or whatever and we don't really take inventory of how far we've come so if you really take a second to look at your life right now like where you are today and the space that you are in today have you dreamed about this are you around some of the people that you dreamed about being around have you manifested a great relationship have you manifested a great job have you manifested more money have you manifested a better relationship with your children like how have you grown because it is all a part of the journey you know what i mean and just being more aware and more um aware of what it is that you have yes we are all aspiring for more but if you really take a second and be grateful for what it is that you have in this moment right here it will bring you so much more happiness because if you continue to just keep chasing what's to come and not being happy with what you have right now you're never going to be happy so make sure you guys are practicing gratitude whether that's in your prayer whether that's just saying thank you to whoever you you know worship whatever it means to you but practice your gratitude it is so so important number three is going to be self-love girl self-love is so powerful and you don't really know um, or realize you may not realize should I say how hard we are on ourselves and how that negatively affects us in what we are able to accomplish what we're able to do the people that are around us etc when you love yourself for real for real there's just certain things that you are not going to tolerate for yourself, right? And there's also certain things that you want for yourself. So you are going to put yourself in a position to get those, to accomplish those, to work towards accomplishing it, whatever the case is, right? So when you think of self-love, think about what fulfills you, right? Think about what makes you happiest and do this in every area of your life take a second to write these things down right so when you think about self-love what is something that you can do or something that you want that makes you feel the best that you can feel it makes you feel happy it makes you feel fulfilled it makes you feel excited it makes you feel hopeful what are those things so that is what self-love looks like it means making decisions that are going to help you get to your greater good right 
even if it's going to be a hard decision, even if it's a decision we don't like, even if it's literally something different, something unknown, something, you know, not in our normal, that's loving yourself, right? Because loving yourself is wanting more for yourself. It's wanting better for yourself. So if losing 10 pounds is going to make you feel better, then we're going to do that. Whether that means you're gonna like how you look better in your clothes or you're gonna have more energy so you're able to get more done. You're able to just be, have a clear mind and just be in a better space at the end of the day. It's important. Loving yourself is important. Do things that nourish you. You cannot build, you cannot grow from a negative place. So remember, self-love, is doing what makes you happy what makes you feel the most fulfilled what brings you the most joy i know life is not always the greatest and sometimes we have to do things that we don't want to do that's why it's so important to be intentional and do things that we do want to do so that that helps us in those other times where we don't have the freedom that we may like to have so do something that is for you only not for the betterment of your job not for the betterment of your kids not for the betterment of your spouse but what is for you whatever that may be do that for you if you do that i promise you it's going to trickle over into other areas of your life and it's going to help you stay positive i know there is a toxic positivity thing going on where everything just has to be like peachy and everything is awesome no life be life in my life has lifed to the max this year in many a way but where you need to be positive if you can find the strength to do so it's going to bring you through those very dark times that we have where we are not sure how we're going to get out of it, right? It's a lot easier said than done. It's not going to always be perfect. It's not always going to look like what you thought it would look like. Sometimes, you know, mindset can just be, girl, get your behind up off this bed and brush your teeth and make your cup of coffee and try not to cry today, right? If you did that, kudos to you you did an amazing job if that was what the goal was you did it and you accomplished it so it doesn't always have to be some big grandiose idea but just taking little steps really create for the biggest change possible and lastly for number four i think as far as your mindset think about how you want your future to look what is your ideal life? How can you get yourself in a space to where that idea of how you see yourself can actually come into fruition? So it was funny because I actually kind of had this conversation uh, a few months ago. And, and basically, I've been working on what I call manifesting my dream life, right? So it's not necessarily the things that I have, but it's just more so the lifestyle that I want to live. So for instance, I know that I'm not trying to be necessarily working 40 plus hours a week, punching into somebody's clock every day, having somebody monitor what I'm doing, coming or going. That's not a lifestyle that I want to live. So I am taking steps to where I have a little bit more autonomy over my life and my decision making. So I am building a life where I can see my future uh, clear, right? So I know maybe I only want to work six hours a day and maybe that's only four days a week because having two days off is illegal at this point. But that's just the mindset that I am in, right? So. I sat down and really wrote out what my dream life looks like. I don't know all the details of it and I think that's also exciting because you don't necessarily know everything but you just know what it feels like, right? So I know what I want my day to look like. I know that I wanna wake up early because that's what I do. I wanna go to the gym, I wanna have a great workout, I wanna come home, take a shower, do a long ass skincare routine every day and kind of just ease 
my way into the day right I want to have a workload and work a job or a career that is fulfilling and inspiring to me um, I want to work with people that I like I want to be in an aspect where I can feel like I can make a positive impact or help make positive impacts on someone else's life um, I want to be in a space where I can be a friend I want to be in a space where I can you know be a mentor I want to be in a space where I can wear nice things that I can comfortably comfortably afford where financial stressors are not a stressor because I have more than what I can imagine and I know that if I work towards realistically putting in place things that can help me get to that life it has no choice but to happen right if you are consistently and constantly working towards something it might not come right away but eventually it will come so really take a second clear your mind of any thoughts of how you're going to get something done and just think about what it is that you want to do i promise you things will start to align once you start to take steps to get there the people will come into your life the jobs will start calling the spouse will show up all of those things that you are looking for will come because you are putting out what you would like to get back so that is it for this week's video about mindset. I hope that that was helpful. If you guys did find it helpful, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure if you haven't subscribed already that you do so. I'm going to tag the first video in this series right up here. So make sure you check that one out. We will be back next week with another video that are going to be part three of our series. And we are going to be talking all about finances and get into that bag next year okay so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you made it this far shoot me a little hey girl hey in the comments and let me know also if there's anything on this channel that you want to see from me uh, please feel free to leave that in the comments below because i would love to make content that you guys connect with so it was a pleasure i cannot wait to see you on the next video see you next week peace